you know that time you wish you hadn't worn full armor and uh, ridden two miles out of range and you wish you put a trolley handle on you know that time yeah afternoon everybody welcome to speedy feet live show 59 that's 59 weeks um, I counted it up earlier 59th show is the 59th week took a bit of working out but it's all sorted so welcome anyway don't forget when you log in say who you are where you're from what wheel you have and if you want to add a bit of bonus information how far you have been um, we've got a bit of a packed show today because we've got, I think, four viewers' videos, possibly. We've got some news. We've got Sneaky Peaky going on. We've got it all going on. So welcome aboard the fun show. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, you just comment in the old live chat. Or if this is finished and you're watching it afterwards, just comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Click, click the bell notification. And if you haven't already, check out Instagram. Speedy Feet on Instagram. Go and check it out, some behind the scenes. Um, we had a special visitor, two special visitors today that uh, came along. If you go to Instagram, you'll see who they were or our Facebook page if you're already on that. So uh, today I have got the heater on because it's cold. Mary didn't turn it on. My seat was all cold when I sat down. Um, it's supposed to be warmed up like a F1 car tires are. Take off my clothes, you say? Wear more. Oh, wear more clothes. Good. Good, good, good. Heard you right. Um, hello from Nick Durham. Stuck in work, just listening. So you don't get to see this going on. Um, hello all from Toronto, Canada. Douglas Ingram is watching. Hello, Douglas. Uh, imported illegally a Z10. Wife still hasn't found out and just broke my KS16S handle this week. 
watching from Cardiff. Interesting. Traitor, but interesting. Good afternoon. This is Rob Hitch. He is from the United Kingdom, currently United Kingdom, C-U-K, Cook, uh, in motion V8, 860 miles, I think, want a care 16X, good, you know where to buy it from, speedyfeet.co.uk, that's speedyfeet.co.uk, where all wheels come with two-year warranty and excellent backup and service. Um, in motion V10F, KS 18XL, upcoming in motion suspension model and many more, but but bank won't let me. I ain't worry about the bank. Take out loans. Uh, EUC Roadrunner, EUC Criminal from Germany. Not the only criminal in the house, Mario also. KS 16X, KS 18XL. Just to clarify, when he went to the Netherlands, he got arrested because Lars got arrested. Will Glynn, hey UK. Um, in motion V8, he says. He's saying hello to the whole of the UK. Welcome, Will. Uh, Rich S is uh, the afternoon. Yep, correct. Bristol, UK. And Nicola, MSX, etc. Also has M103. Mick No Manners. Will Glynn, what headgear do you have? Uh, Patrick McCohen. No wheel yet. Well, you know where to come again. Um, Finally got you live all the way from South Africa. I don't know, should I carry on with that accent? Probably not. I'm going to think about doing it, but now I can't. I might lose it. And then it won't sound very good. South Africa. Pathetic. That's what we were talking about earlier, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. We had a customer from the other side, the paintball side, and it was a bag. It was years ago. We didn't have the bag in stock to carry a rifle. And he told us on the phone it was pathetic. And we've always remembered it. So, yeah. South Africa is quite a long way away, and welcome. It's the first time you've actually managed to catch us. I have no idea what the time is in South Africa, but I should imagine it's different than ours. Hey Siri, what is the time in South Africa? It's 17.33 in Pretoria, South Africa. Half five. Mm. So they're only an hour behind, ahead. Mm. Wow, okay. KS18L, as always, best wheel. That's Michael King, who may or may not have submitted a video, I believe. Rowan, hi all, MSX and MCM5 in Buckinghamshire, Buckinghamshire, UK, off-road lover. Hi there, Sweden, Gotway Tesla. Uh, go. This message health review, don't know why. Belgian KS18L V10F. Hi from Machu Picchu. Have you got a wheel? I mean, so which wheel is it? Um... A ID scooter rider, KS18L, Philadelphia, USA. Then we have Steve Parker. Steve from Scotland, new V10F, sitting in my hotel in Magaluf on holiday for four days. Is there a new V10F sitting in your hotel or are you sitting in your hotel in Magaluf? Magaluf. Oh, Francis, Jill. Jellos. Yellos. J E L O S. Probably means hello, I'd imagine. Don't know. Tesla of V2 and a KS16X over a thousand kilometers. Oslo. Well, welcome aboard. I am going to see if I can refresh your Facebook page because it fails every week. Has done for 59 weeks. It's just spinning around. <clears throat> Weird, isn't it? That doesn't like it at all. Um, right, so what have we got today, Mario? We've got four viewers' videos. We've got some old news. Rehashed and sort of promoted his up-to-date news. And what else we got? That's it. That's it? That's the only videos we got. Okay. Sneaky peaky. Ah, sneaky peaky. Yeah, so I think I mentioned them. Right, let's scroll down really, really carefully. Oh, I think I've got it. Oh no, because what it's going to do now is going to play it full blast. There we go. Right, so I've logged into that. Hopefully I'll see your comments as they come up. Probably not though. So if I ignore you and you're on Facebook, don't worry about it. There's only four people watching on Facebook anyway, so... Um, he's at the hotel and the wheel's at home. What a shame. Hello from Nebraska, Nebraska, USA. I use InMotion V8 with 200 miles. Faithless, hello, what's a good e-wheel for my young, petite, teenage daughter? Any recommendations? V5F. InMotion V5F. Elder Aaron Mortison. Hello from Draman, 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 outside 
Oslo, Norway, KS18L. What is the temperature in Norway currently? That's what I'd like to know. Um, obviously, I'll put a link up to that old V5F and go and check out the old description, if I can find it for you. Probably slow down the old connection now. In fact, if you just go to speedyfeet.co.uk, it's there as on the main page, promoted. Uh, at faith, there's got it, boom, bam. Very dusty. Why is it so dusty? What's going on? 15 degrees C. Very similar. Very, very similar. Uh, and you've done a 1,500 kilometers on your KS18L. Wow, so we've got UK, USA, Sweden, Magaluf, uh, Machu Picchu, uh, Norway, and others, possibly others. USA, I think UK is repping more than USA currently. So, hmm, there we go. Michael King has said, my kids use 9 volt C or E good quality wheels. Best all-purpose wheel. Best all-purpose wheel. All-rounder. Best all-rounder. Mm. Got to be a 16-inch wheel. V10. V10, possibly. Probably stick it on that. If you want maximum speed, you're not going to get that from a V10. But the best all-rounder, most comfortable, lovely wheel, like a magic blanket, is the, uh, is the V10, for sure. So we had some visitors today, didn't we, Mary? Mm. I think we got a photo of them. Put it in the news. You put it in the news? You have put it in the news, or yeah. going to put it in the news? Yeah. I've put it in the news. Okay, it's going to be in the news. Oh, Matt is checking in. Hi, Matt. He is from Bath, United Kingdoms. And V5F and Z10 here. Patrick McGowan says, thank you. No problem at all. Now, don't think anyone's commented on there, um, which is good. So, shall we do, should we do the news? Yeah. Or should, he's Keaton, he's key, he said yes before I finish the sentence. So, let's roll the news and we'll get straight on to that, shall we? Let's do it. Extra, 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 read all about it. Read all about it. Right, uh, welcome to the Speedy Feet Old News, New News game show. Phew, thank you for that. With one month to go until Capital's biggest ever car free day celebrations, car free celebrations, car free day celebrations, the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, has announced details of hundreds of free activities to help Londoners reclaim their streets on Sunday the 22nd of September. A classic cycle ride and yoga and meditation sessions on the Tower Bridge hmm, will be among the highlights at the Central London Reimagine event with something for people of all ages to enjoy. So if you're in London you can head on over to that. The programme will run between 10.30am and 5pm across 20 kilometres of traffic free roads the equivalent of nearly 200 football pitches in length around Tower Bridge, London Bridge and the City of London. Who knew about that? Each activity is centred around five main themes. Move, chill, brr, taste, play and show. Hello, what are you doing? It's the news, don't you know? Come up here then. Oh, what a lovely boy. Now, good lad. I don't know what you're doing, but... You can carry on going somewhere else now. Thanks then. Cheers. Uh, right. With events ranging from street food... Brilliant. Street ranging from street food stalls and arts and crafts for children to a Tower of London historical reenactment of the Peasants' Revolt of 1381. That's right, baby. The UK has got a lot of history. What has this got to do with unicycles? Does it get into it eventually? It doesn't, does it? No. Brilliant. So this is this is actually he's done something here. He's got fairly old news, for, but for an upcoming event, and it's got nothing to do with unicycles. I knew that by the way it was going. But anyway, let's read you a bedtime story. Pop-up playgrounds, guided walks, and bike rides on traffic-free roads 
our installations and BMX rides will also be on offer. <laughs> it's almost unbelievable this. Air pollution is one of the biggest health emergencies of our generation with more than 2 million Londoners living in areas that exceed legal limits for NO2, including more than 400,000 children under the age of 18. The mayor has taken bold action, he hasn't legalised electric unicycles, has he, to tackle London's toxic air from delivering the first ultra-low emission zone in central London to transforming London's bus fleets into one of the greenest in the world. Sadiq wants to encourage Londoners to walk, cycle and use public transport and opt for electric vehicles, mm. could include electric unicycles, which it doesn't, it just means cars, but to help reduce harmful emissions from older, more polluting vehicles. So if you could all email him, tweet him, and send him a little message saying, will your electric unicycles be allowed in this uh, car-free day? It's what? Was Mike showing? It sounded like he said that's gas, but possibly. Um, yeah, so tweet him whatever and just let him know about electric unicycles and maybe post him up to a video that we've done that would be useful. Uh, is, is this, this is continuing? This is the news? Uh, or is this a new article? No, it's the same thing. Same thing. Same, going on the same thing. There's only one news item this week. Uh, Professor Frank Kelly on behalf of King's College London Environment Research Group said those who participate in London's car free day will hopefully get a glimpse of the future what a great city can look and feel like without the intrusion of vehicles noise and air pollution will dissipate and we will once again be able to hear the birds sing and children laugh we encourage everyone to join in and support the initiative sounds very positive doesn't it there was a lot of knife crime and stuff in London which you can't currently hear because of all the cars all you hear is, ah, and sort of alarms going off. That, that's the news, but we have got one other news item. We had, uh, that was rubbish news, but it was, I mean, it's good. could be a good day. So go and see it. I don't think a lot of thought went into that news article. If I'm honest, if I was being critical of the show, I would say that was rubbish. Today we had visitors in from Kingsong. And they will now be displayed on the screen, most likely, with a stunning young chap there stood there. Um... This is Tina and Millie, isn't it? If I remember the name correct. Uh, so there they are, stood with me. Uh, same place. You can tell because of the sign at the back. So there we go. They came in to say hello. And they came from London. Lots of knife crime. Come from London, down from there to the Forester Dean. And had a good look round and saw what we were all about. And said hello. And we're quite keen to get in the old studio to have a look what is what's going on and what we do here. So they came down. That was quite nice of them. And that's the end of the news. Dun, 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 dun. Um, Ed Martin, you have lost weight. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mario's getting worried for me, told me today. so Because I look a bit sort of like... Uh, I don't know. I keep collapsing all the time. But I'm sure... <laughs> I don't really. Uh, it's what one meal a day to do for you. So I'm trying to get down to 12 stone. And then we're going to do the video test of what happens if you put that weight back on. So if those of you who don't know, I'm doing a weight loss down to 12 stone, because uh, I got up to almost 15. And then we're gonna put that weight back on in the rucksack and see what difference it makes to range. Oscar here, listening from North London, Watford. Did you know there's a Watford here, near Ross? Ross on Y. Or is it Walford? I know about Little London. Little London, that's just down the road, Little London. Uh, so on my first wheel, 14 inch 9 watt 1 S2 and you've done a hundred kilometers. Welcome Oscar. Oscar, very very good to see you on board. Uh, any tips for getting back on my V10F when my cracked ribs repair? Hmm, Ed, what can I say? Don't ride electric unicycles is my best piece of advice. They are a death trap. <laughs> I'm only joking, of course. That would be controversial. Um, any advice? Take it steady, maybe. Bubble wrap uh, or pillows. If you don't need bubble wrap, shove them up your top and then sort of like that. And then if you hit into the ground, you're gonna be nice and soft. That's helpful advice, isn't it? There we go. At least the messages are coming in though, so that's good. Oh, and then back to the old chat again, because I've kind of lost it a little bit. Um, do you know if King Song is working on a new 18 inch wheel to replace the KS18 XL? I don't know that. But I did ask them if they're going to go bigger and they've got no plans to go any bigger. Because I said, are you going to do a 22 inch to take on the old monster? The got me monster. And they said they're not planning to. So 18 will be their biggest. 
It's 27 degrees here in Magaluf. I've seen loads of electric scooters, but no EUCs yet. That is a little bit weird, isn't it? Should have taken yours and bucked the trend. Suddy wants to encourage Londoners to walk, cycle and use public transport and opt for electric vehicles to help replace harmful emissions from older and more polluting vehicles. That's what Roger, Rob Hitch says. Uh, and he, uh, Rob is actually going on further from that, so I'll try and piece this together. Ian, I already clarified with Transport for London, TFL. I called the TFL customer services line, re whether or not person electric vehicles, e.g. electric scooters, etc., would be permitted in the free zones. But law says EUCs still banned. Wah, 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 wah. Um, there is a big demo to legalise PEV in Berlin this Saturday at 12.30. So if you are in the area of Germany, go on over to Berlin, travel there on your wheel and join that big demo. And then don't go too fast in congested areas because then you might actually put people off. Um, Facebook messages are actually working today. It's quite amazing, really. P.S. 800 kilometres, not 100. Most of those, 800. What? Love my 14-inch wheel. I mainly do tricking and love the sharp cornering, but can also ride on grass, no problem. Would love a new wheel with more power. What's the best 14 or 16-inch that has tight handling? Go and watch Mario's review of the MCM5, which is a 14-inch wheel, so same size, but it punches massively above its weight for that size. So go and have a look at his review. Um, yeah, you can't get more powerful than that really on a 14 inch wheel. So have a look at the MCM5. Okay, um, let's go down a little bit. How many calories in your OMAD? OMAD. OMAD. Original menu and diet. Hold on, I'm going to go and look what OMAD means. Do do do, play, hold music. Should you do the one meal a day diet? One meal a day. Mm. Hey, it's an actual thing. I wasn't following a diet. I was just decided to have one meal a day, but it's an actual thing. Uh, calories, hardly anything. Way under what I should be having, I would have said. But apart from Friday evening, Saturday and Sunday, most of the time, I just uh, tend to eat more then and then go back to one meal a day. So probably 400 calories 500 calories something like that Lars is in the house hey hey Patrick McCohen how do you guys get updated when a new wheel is coming out we don't we start a live show and people go have you heard about this wheel we go hmm what and then we go and message them and say is there a new wheel coming out by any chance and they go yeah there is yeah and we go thanks for telling us that's how usually it works um, right let's have another look I plan on upgrading from my V8 that's an Emotion V8 in the spring, I mostly care about range and at the cruising speed of 16 miles per hour. Think there will be any crazy releases in 2020 or should I just save for a KS16X? You could save for a KS16X, you could save for a Nikola, you could save for an MSX, you could save for a Monster even, which might be a bit expensive. Um, but depends on if you want to say you care about range, you need one of those wheels, don't you, that's listed. Not a smaller one. So, will there be any new releases? I would imagine so in 2020. It's usually one or two a year, isn't it, that come out? So, if you aimed for the KS16X, you're going to be in the right price point. So, you could always switch when you get nearer the time. Um, Yo from Bell. Um, and then, uh, time to stand up. Oh, I forgot to say, I've got to stand up. I've watched it, I've got to stand up. Uh, MCM5 is the wheel I've been leaning towards. Do you know if there is a difference in UK law between riding and road riding and pavement riding? Not as far as I know, because it sits in a massive grey area on either of those. So, not that I know of, no. Um, great video on the MCM5, Lars says. Well, he would, wouldn't he? Mm. He would say it's great. It's funny, is it, getting someone put in jail? Um, where are we? Portland, Oregon, waving at you. Wave back, uh, and you're on an MCM5. Thumbs up, or you're confirming the comment about the MCM5. 14 inch wheel being very powerful. Rowan, geez, I'd worry about falling off with 500 calories in me. Good effort, keen to see the result for the weight pack on range, etc. Yeah, it should be a very, very interesting video, that one, I believe. Should give you some sort of idea. So, uh, 
yeah, that's what we're going to try and do. So we've got reviewers' videos, haven't we, Mario? Four of. Should we play the old uh, viewers' videos? Let's do it. Roll it. Roll it. Viewers' videos. We are live, but I'm just busy watching the end screen. The end card, info at speedyfeet.co.uk to send your video in. If the camera angle still changed slightly, it's because Bruce came in and sort of went boosh and knocked everything again, didn't you? Got to lie down here now because he's being a little monkey. Someone said, Jigglets has said, yay, no portrait videos. How good is that? I think that's the first time that's happened where we've had none. So that's a congratulations. We've also had no copyright music, I believe, as well, which is a good start. Um, let's have a little look. Sup party people, that's David Campbell's in the house. 18XL is my chosen poison, 
SAF London rules. That's SAF London. What, governor? Oh, hold on. The magic hand. Thanks, uh, magic hand man. Mars bar. Oh, we got another question come in. Oh, this is fresh. This is very fresh, isn't it? You see the steam coming off it. Now, a uh, King Song, they actually gave me some Chinese tea. But I need to get a um, uh, sieve thing. Mm. What's it called? Thing you pour tea into. You... Is it a sieve? It's not a sieve, is it? Tea strainer. Tea strainer? Mm. Tea strainer. I need to get one of those. Anyway, any recommendations for winter? Hey, camera's back around the right angle again. That was Bruce. That was all Bruce that did that. Any recommendations? This is from Elder Aaron Mortison. Any recommendations for winter riding? Wi winter tyres spiked? I know it's early. Um, let's have another look. Any recommendations for winter riding? So winter spikes. For us in the UK specifically, we don't need spikes in winter uh, because the amount of snowfall we get is minimal. We seem to have a lot of snow in one go. It's like, shall we just snow today? All the snow that we'd usually have in a day. That's what usually happens here. So, that wasn't Bruce, that was Mario. And it was a light unit. <laughs> Professional around here. Um, so, for us, spike tires, no. But if you're obviously riding through ice and stuff, definitely get spikes. I'm not sure Schwelby do it, Schwelby. Um, but you can get spikes in mean, Loads of people have done it. And you punch them through the tire. Um, you can do that. For sure, snow, ice riding, things like that. It's a regular occurrence. We don't need to here. For us here though, riding on ice, we tend to get black ice where you just can't see it. And so it can be quite dangerous to ride around. I suspect that applies in other areas as well. So just be careful in winter riding. If it's freezing, literally freezing cold, then you need to be really, really careful, especially with turning. Going straight seems all right. So as soon as you put a lean on, it slips out from underneath you. So just take it really steady. But if you can warrant spikes, because we've got enough snowfall, then definitely. Joel is howdy you all, Z10, Texas, USA. What is the temperature in Texas, USA? I'm going to imagine hot. What do you reckon, Mary? Scorch you? That's a guess. Let's guess the temperature. Before I read it, Joel's going to let us know what it is. I'm going to go for 24 degrees C. What are you going to go for? 28. 28. Mary's gone for 28C. I've gone for 24C. Let's all wait for Joel. You can guess as well. If you want to guess the temperature in Texas, USA, without looking it up, I say guess. Don't use Google. That's just cheating. David Campbell, need one of those magic hands to pass me a wheel cover. Talking of which, where can I get one from? You think in a stock any in January? Oh, we've got a 42 degree C. Maybe I've gone a bit low here mm. with my 24. But I was thinking maybe it's early morning. I was having a guess, really, on that front. Um, wheel cover. David Campbell, which wheel have you got again? Did you say? Yeah, 18XL. Oh, we haven't got covers for 18XL. We could get them in, and we will be getting those covers in. Um, but we need to wait until they do other models. They only do the 18XL at the moment, so or 18L. So 31 degrees we've got here from Beryl. Um, we've got 42 from Patrick. They played along. Two people played along. Well done. Thanks for joining in. How about battery care? Cold, hot. Um, 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, what's that in English? Hey, Siri. What is 88 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? 88 degrees Fahrenheit is 31.1 degrees Celsius. Ooh, 31.1. Get in. Uh, how do I get rid of... 31. Beryl Sampson got it just right. 31 degrees. So she wins a, a There we are from us. So well done for guessing that right. Uh, battery care in the cold slash hot. Hmm. Well the cold is not really a problem. Battery care. The hot is a problem. That's what kills batteries is boiling hot. Boiling hot damages batteries, so keeping them cool is the answer. So the UK, especially with electric cars, in the UK it's the perfect climate for them. Uh, but not for range, obviously. So batteries perform a lot worse in the cold weather, but their lifespan is longer than in cold weather, unless you're talking extreme colds.
But the, where we are in our climate, spot on for longevity of electric vehicles. It's a perfect island for it, um, but not for range. So for the owner, it's great for lifespan, but not good for getting far. Um, oops, I forgot. What have I missed? That's Ian Chambers just joined us. You've missed loads. We've given away £100 to every viewer that came on before you came on. Uh, did you see any new accessories for the Kingsong 18L or XL? For instance, there is a seat out or any other stuff. When will it be available seat? Uh, I've seen a seat for the KS16X and we've got them coming in. So if you've got a KS16X and you would like a seat, then hit us up. They're not on the site yet, but they will be. We don't know what the cost is currently for the shipping, but they're on their way in. Once we've got all the costs, we'll put them up for sale. It looks quite nice, actually. Not made by Kingsong, third party. Um, what have we got here? Have, uh, and I know I haven't seen any accessories for the 18L or XL, apart from the new foot plates, which, well, I say new, they've been out now for whatever it is a year. Have a from, have a from New Hampshire, USA. Have a from New Hampshire. That's NH guy, NH guy. Not sure what you're trying to say, dude. Uh, any other accessories that you see coming to put under the Christmas tree? <clears throat> no. That's it, really. No. I haven't seen anything at all out there. So, sad, really, isn't it? Never mind. Um, some posts say there is a, s is a seat for KS18 also. Okay. Yes, possibly. Don't know. But we've got the KS16X seat. But I don't know about the KS18L seat. Shall I ask? Shall I ask King Song? Let's ask. Hi. Is there a seat for the KS18L? Question mark. I hope not. Because we just ordered a load of seats for the KS16X and could have added them to the order. So I'm hoping they come back and say no. But you lot are hoping they're going to say yes. They come back and say yes there is. Oh yeah, it's been out for ages. Brilliant. Going back to the previous question, how do we get to know about new releases? Well, we don't. Apart from you guys who say, what about this? That's how we roll. That's how up on it we are. Um, which is weird, because if they just said, oh, we got this new thing coming out, we'd buy it. Range differences between Nicola and 16X. Well, that's cheeky because I can't see anything, can I, on that? Because we haven't done the full-on 250 review yet. So, can't say it. But we have done the unboxing and range review. And how far did I get Mario on the 16X? 52 miles. 52. 52. And how far did I get on the Nicola? Brilliant. So, I don't know how far I got on the Nicola either, so we're full of information. Hold on, YouTube, let's search an amazing channel that does loads of unicycle reviews. They know what they're talking about, it's Speedy Feet. Um, allegedly they do, but when you actually ask them questions, they don't know the answer. Let me have a look, see if I can find out what range I got on the Nicola. Uh, the only caveat is I didn't open up on the 16X up to 50 kilometers. Um, only open to the 40, so with the Nicola, I was slamming it. Uh, let's, no, I can't. It's not loading. I think the Nicola was less. The Nicola was definitely less, yeah. That was mega, 52 on the KS16X. Mm. Uh, but as I say, I was riding it, I wasn't riding it as quick, so I wasn't pushing it as hard, so. Um, oh, Beryl says, thanks for the clapping, dudes. So... Um, do you ever let people visit your warehouse? I'd love to try some other wheels and go for a ride with you guys. Well, we do the ride out, Oscar, in the forest. So we do that, and in Bristol. So there's ride outs. So if you keep an eye on the website, not the website, on Facebook and Instagram, then you will be notified pretty much of the next one. So you can come and do that. People do come down to the showroom, but there's not really a lot you can do here. It's very rare we can just go, oh, let's go out for a ride. But on the arranged events, you can come down and we tend to bring quite a few wheels with us. So I would advise that. Sign up to the old Instagram. How many people are registered now? Uh, no, oh, dash dash for the temperature. I guess. Uh, it is naught. So we've got naught followers on Instagram. So that's good. You could be the first follower on Instagram. Come along. Have a go. I think it was shy of a thousand. Just shy of a thousand apparently the actual figure is. It's not actually naught. I don't think unless everyone's unsubscribed and unfollowed. Possibly. Surely I've lost about a thousand people since the show started. Well, possibly. I mean, look at the content. 
<laughs> it's woeful. Uh, we've got 8,340 on YouTube. So anyway, go to Instagram, uh, and you'll see actually how many people follow us on there. It's building, slowly. So that's behind the scenes Instagram, pretty much. We have photos of all different bits and bobs going on. Just whenever we've got time to snap something, we snap it and upload it. So there we go. Um, well, so that's those questions caught up, I think. Um, range difference between Nicola and K6 next? We don't know. Rob Hitch has just followed us on Instagram. Oh, it's come up now. Thanks very much. You've triggered it back to life. 994. Another six and we'll be hit a thousand. Jesse, Mr. Mom, just started following us. Auras Mihanli just started following us. So all you guys watching, we've got three other people. A996 now, look. We just need four more people to follow us on Instagram. Come on, let's drive it. Let's get to a thousand right now. How quickly can we get to a thousand? Thousand subscriber, thousand follower. What do they win, Mario? What do they win? Come on, think of something. This cup. No, cup. That's, that's not my cup. It's my wife's cup. I can't give it away. Cup. A cup. I just said clap, a cup. Clap. 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 A clap. Oh, oh, that's... Oh, no. We just lost one. Five. Come on, let's drive for five. Drive for five. Um, right, range difference. We don't know. You go and have a look, Joel, at the review, the unboxing of the Care 16X and the unboxing of the Nicola. Uh, but 52 miles on the Care 16X if you don't want to watch that video. I'd recommend watching it. Um, oh, we've got Ian Chambers. Started following you. Brilliant. What are we at now? Can't tell. It's disappeared. So, brilliant. Drive for four now. Just need four more, probably. Um, yeah, and go and look at the Nicola. So what you need to do is go to the Nicola review and just go towards the end if you don't want to watch the whole thing. But again, I'd recommend watching the whole thing because you get to see the feel of it um, and just see what the range was. But it was less, anyway, than that. Um... I'm an, I mean, I understood that the KS69X seat fitted on the KS18L. Perhaps it does. If it does, that's brilliant. Uh, let's have another look. Ian Chambers, £100. Has the Gotway arrived yet? That's meant to be a boat, by the way. It does look like a boat. It does look like a boat. And Gotways came in on the 16th to Southampton Port in the United Kingdom. Um, and we're just waiting for it to be delivered to warehouse. It usually takes around about a week. There has been some issues with the documentation which I'm trying to resolve today, um, but hopefully within a week. So that's seven days or five working days approximately. So there we go. In the meanwhile, I asked him to write a working app. I have done. So when two of them came in today, Tina and Millie, um, I told them about the app and how bad it was, but I also told them that everyone else's app's pretty bad as well. So they are working on it. They know, King Song know that people think their app's rubbish because it is. And they are act actively trying to work to make it better, apparently. So there we go. Uh, range difference between Nicola and MSX. Range difference between Nicola and MSX. Interesting. Again, don't know. Benjamin Rose, thank you very much for the question, though. Um, I don't actually know. But it is in our unboxing video. Don't forget, we do a lot of video reviews on these products. I'm trying to remember what we did. MSX was over a year ago we did the unboxing, so... Yeah, that's, I can't really remember from that. It was it 40, I think it was 42, 45. I don't think it was completely dead at that point on the MSX. Um, so not 100% sure. Um, Jesse James Keenan was 995. For, for, first time. First time. 35.5. What for? Nicola. The Nicola. The Nicola, first range test on the Nicola, 35.5 miles. Second time. Just over 40. Just over 40. So there you go. There we are. 12 mile. 12 mile? Yeah. 52, 40. Between the two. Mm. Yeah. There was. Now I think that is probably also speed. I think speed played a big factor in that. So it is variable. When you watch these range test videos, it's really important to remember it is massively variable depending on the route. We'd have to follow. To get it exactly right, I would have to be the same weight every single time. It'd have to be the same temperature every single time. The tyre pressures will have to be exactly the same, and I'll have to go exactly the same speed to match it identical to get a true like-for-like. Like. So there will be variations in our range tests. Absolutely certain there will be. Um, so how is the performance of Tesla V2 considered buying? Incredibly powerful. Haven't yet done a video review on it, but we will do. We filmed the unboxing, haven't we, bit? Or we just, what did you film? I oh, did the B-roll of the, the wheel. He doesn't remember. Mario doesn't remember. Not important, not worth remembering. Other things on his mind. Um, so I know it's very, very good and a lot of people swear by their Teslas 
Um, so the feedback from them has been brilliant. Uh, we're yet ourselves to do it. So I can't really comment on it. I can just tell you what other users have been saying about it. Uh, Olav is just home from work. What have I missed? Well, same again. You've missed us giving a hundred hundred pound away to every single viewer. Um, so it's a shame. He came a little bit too late there, but don't worry. Uh, Norway, 18XL and Tesla. So there we go. Um, would like to see better BMS in wheels. What type of better BMS would you like to see? What is lacking, Patrick? Let me know what you think is lacking so I know what you mean by that. Um, one thing we had today, oh well, yesterday, when we uploaded the MCM5 video, we had two people talking about wearing a helmet. Wearing a helmet. Mario wasn't wearing a helmet in one of the shots, were you, Mary? Well, I was on holiday. He was on holiday, and apparently, as a technicality, if you're on holiday, you don't need to wear any protection on your head at all. Yeah. So that's good. Um, oh, liked your post. Oh, I thought it was another, I thought we might get to a thousand. We're at 997. So if three more people want to go over to Instagram and go and follow us there, then it would be a pleasure to see that hit 1,000 today, wouldn't it? And then next week when we come on, you'll see it behind me, it'll be back down to like 8.50, so, but go along. Um, yes, so talking about wearing helmets, and we're talking about the fact that the shots that he was in, maybe Roy didn't work right now without a helmet, was just going quite slow. Um, so are you guys wearing no helmet? Are you wearing full face helmet? Or are you wearing just a little helmet on top with no chin? What are you all wearing? I would be interested to know what the split is between non-helmet wearers Open face helmets, should we call them, with just the top part, or full face. I ride with full face, and so does Mario, funny enough, except for when he's going really slow. He doesn't. He does actually usually wear a helmet, and when I say usually, I mean hardly ever. But I did give him a helmet, didn't I? And he ordered one, and the seller refunded it. Why are you eating cobwebs? What are you doing, you mad dog? He stopped now. Good. Good lad. Uh, always, Olav always wears a full face and he wears a Bell Super 3R for your reference Mary uh, full face is Francis Jesse James Keenan is wearing a BMX helmet must be full face mustn't it that BMX helmet surely I would have thought full face so so far of all the people in open face for low speed and clip on full face bit for off road, higher speeds, Bell Super 3R also. So that's the second person. Have you looked at this Bell Super 3R, Mario? You know that list that all the lovely viewers give us yeah. for you to ponder over? Yeah. Are you just nodding? Pretending you have? Or did you actually look at it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, full face from Matt from Bath, much safer and looks cooler. Uh, what do you think which worth the money, Nicola Plus or Default Nicola? Well, I've been riding Default Nicola. We've got no Nicola Pluses in at all. But if I was going to base it off the M Super X, the 84 volt served me incredibly well. And I was talking to Kingsong about this today when they came here, about the fact that, for goodness sake, don't start issuing out massive voltage machines because 84 volt is absolutely fine. Um, Jesse James Keenan, nope. What was that in relation to? Oh, it's not full face. Yeah. Okay, it's not full face. Uh, Rich S, no helmet for local messing about. Oh, Rich, you naughty boy. Uh, Off-road, high speed, plus 18 miles per hour. So anything above 80, 18 hour miles per hour or above, Rich is wearing a full face. That's kind of similar to me, really, if I'm just going really slow. A speed I can run at, I don't tend to wear a helmet. Um, if I'm going out for a serious ride, I just, I'm basically, I'm either wearing nothing I do actually wear clothes though, thinking about it. I wear clothes, but no helmet and stuff at slow speeds. At higher speeds, I'm fully armoured up. So I've got everything going on. Um, in the beginning, a ski, a ski helmet, but since a year, full face helmet, gyro switchblade he's got. Mario, for you. In Motion V8 with, this is D-Marks in the house. That is late joining, isn't it? That's late. In Motion V8 with around about 800 miles in Arizona. Welcome. Hey, and what's the inside of Intel and upcoming in-motion suspension model? I cannot say. I am bound to secrecy. Uh, I'd love, so Jiglets, I'd love a company to partner with Tesla and make a wheel. The brand alone would make this hobby's take off faster than Falcon 9. Except from Elon Musk won't touch motorbikes with a barge pole. He's very openly said. He says they're way too dangerous. So him touching a single wheel, probably very unlikely. So send your hate mail to Elon Musk at... 
the planet Mars, wherever he lives. Michael King, street equals full face. Elder Aaron Morstan, open face, don't go over 35 kilometers an hour. Thinking about full face for the fall and winter, it's starting to get cold in the morning. That's what I love about mine. If it's raining, the full face helmet, it's completely sealed up, it's lovely. It's lovely. It is lovely. Um, open face, hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't well bother wearing an open face, I wouldn't, personally. I'd just rather put the whole thing on. The open face for going fast, if you slam into the ground, you are gonna lose your jaw, possibly your tongue, and almost certainly your teeth. There's a horrible picture somewhere out there of a motorcyclist come off, and he's lost his jaw, and his tongue's hanging down here. He was on a Harley, and he'd worn a, one of those basin hat things. Uh, helmets, not hats. Might as well have been a hat for all the good it did. Um, what helmet do you use? I, a, I use a specialised dissident comp. Specialised dissident comp. Which is very rare. Which is very rare, Mario says. He's tried to get it. He can't get it anywhere. He texted me at 11 o'clock at night, moaning about the fact that he can't get it anywhere. Oh, I can't find it anywhere. I'm going to have to go and buy all this stuff over here. And that's what he did. Um, and I went online and found him one like that. Boom. And then he ordered it and it wasn't in stock and they refunded him. <laughs> so that's what's happened there. <laughs> so that's gone really well. Um, uh, got back from work on my MSX. Better late than never. Hi, Michael Warner, who has joined us on his MSX. What a beautiful ride that must have been. Uh, what is your favourite YouTube channel for EEC's content that isn't very well known? Mm, the only channel I know is Speedy Feet. Silence. Uh, well, I would have said it's probably Marty's. Marty's or Duff's. And I don't think they've got massive subscribers. So go over and subscribe to them. Let me have a look. I might just be talking nonsense. Probably got more than us. Oh, well, we haven't got many, to be fair. Um, can I find it? What's it called? Marty. It's called like EUC. It's, oh, man. Come on. I'm not doing a good job here. Have I promoting this? Uh, ah. Oh. Hold on, we've got hot news coming in. Marty's got a channel called Electric Unicycles. It's got 343 videos and he's only got 2.7 subscribers, 2.7 thousand, so 2,700 subscribers. So go over there, it's called Electric Unicycles and you can see Marty's lovely face in the image there. Go over and subscribe to that. That does need some subscribing, doesn't it? Marty's got, if you don't know Marty, uh, Marty Back, Beck, B-A-C-K, um, might not pronounce it right, He's got loads of wheels, and so I, I kind of listen to people with loads of wheels and their feedback. If they do a lot of miles and they've got a lot of wheels, then I tend to listen to their opinions. Um, if they've got one wheel and they say it's the best wheel ever and you're wrong, if you don't like it, then I don't tend to listen to them. Uh, that's one, and then the next one's Duff's channel. Um, let me have a look, I'll find it. Well, that's cool for you. Those are the two channels that I think have I would call low subscription subscriber rates, unnecessarily. I think, I believe. I think they deserve more. Can I go here? So I'll try and find it Duff. I think it's just called Duff. It is, it's called Duff. D-U-F. He has now got though, his has gone up. He's got 7,000 subscribers. Marty deserves more. Don't go subscribe to Duff. He's already got 7,000, that's selfish. Give some to uh, Marty. Go over to his channel, Electric Unicycles, and go over to Duff's as well, I was only joking. Oh, he's playing a video. Okay, right. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I know, I sneaky peeky. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, we got here. Um, oh, okay, so they're saying, King Song is saying, regarding this seat thing, the 16X, it, from what she's saying, isn't going to fit the 18L, but um, she's asking, do you know how many people want to buy them? And if I want to order 300 seats, then they can produce it for me. So, yeah, I'm not sure I could want to order 300 seats. But if I did, it could be produced. So if anybody wants to throw an order in for 100 seats, we just need three orders. I'd happily buy 100 seats, but 300 is probably stretching a little bit. Anyway, so it's possible, but that would tell me that the KS16X seat won't fit the 18L. I think that answers that question conclusively. Uh, let's have another look. Uh, what is your, I've uh, done that one already. Wiggle, have some deals on end of season full face helmets. Mario, Rich S has given you a little golden tip there. Tip of the hour, go to Wiggle. Dot. Yeah, Wiggle is a bicycle shop. Rich is into the old cycling with the old shaving your legs. You shave all your legs off and you put lycra on and you let that pedal around. But he has been useful, thanks Rich. 
Um, so we'd have some deals on the end of season full face helmets. How much weight have you lost of late? You've seen much thinner in the face since I last watched. That's Michael Warner. A little bit. A little bit. About two stone so far. So, yeah. Um, again, we're going to do that review when I get to 12 stone. Then we'll do the review, see the range difference. Some of you have been watching this whole time, will be bored of me saying this. But you missed that bit, I think, Michael. So, yeah, we'll do a range test. Bring my weight back up, rucksack on, see the range effects. Right, Mario has got a little sneaky peeky, which we'll play right now because we're running out of time. Because time flies when you're having fun, apparently. Uh, yeah, far away. Sneaky peeky. Peaky, peaky. Welcome to the 250 kilometer review of the KS16X. Now, it's cranked up the mileage fairly quickly. I'm watching the sneaky peeky. Oh, he's a nice rider, isn't he, that man? I'd like to meet him. Coming soon. Oh, what a shame. I want to see the rest now. It's got me sort of hooked. I want to know what happens next. It's going to be exciting. Uh, Oscar Richards, as my wheel is slow and I mainly ride for tricking, more s stops. I mainly use gel gloves. Okay, so he's talking in reference there to the helmet, he's just wearing some gloves, but he just does tricking, so next to curbs and stuff like that, messing about, so not going any speed. So that answers that one. Uh, Ed Martin wears a top hat. He actually does. I've seen it. I've seen a photo of it. Well, it's like a top hat, um, the one I'd seen. And that is all the comments on Facebook, I think, caught up. Quite a lot of comments on Facebook, and I was able to answer them today, so thank you very much for that. Uh, Lars has missed almost everything, because uh, he had a phone call. Brilliant. Was it the police? Oh, Ben. Oh, because Lars got Mario arrested. Um, as you might have seen in the MCM5 video. Uh, is that all the media content that we've got, Mario? Yeah. That's it, is it? All done. Okay, brilliant. So we've had four viewer videos. We've had four viewers' videos today. Um, if you missed them, please go back and watch them. They're somewhere in this thing. Um, so, yeah, two. Two more. For the next competition. We just need two more. We just need two more viewers' videos. Can you spread it on forums and things like that and Facebook pages where people who are uploading... There's someone... Who was it? You came across someone who did a 59-second video and hasn't submitted it. And it was like perfect to fit in this live show. But it's not sent in. And we can't chase everybody trying to say, look, send your videos in. Just go and tell them. Oh, you send it into this because it would be interesting to watch for a start and you could possibly win something. So there we go. Rob Hitch, Ian, KS18L XL delivery estimates are around about four weeks, approximately. So it'll go up for pre-order. We've got one 18XL left, and it's in white, if you wanted it. But we've got one left. I came across it this morning. So, ooh! And added it back into the stock. So the 18XL, we got one of them left. Uh, we have got 18Ls. They'll all be in black. We've ordered no more whites, because white isn't very popular. So we have got white in there, if you wanted it. So rubber, matte, black, or whatever they call it, we've got those coming in in around about four weeks' time. So there we go. Uh, right, so we are over the hour. There was a lot of chat in today. The mouse has gone dead. It's what? Oh, not, can we get this today? Instagram, if you just joined us, go to Instagram and follow Speedy Feet. Oh, hold on. Because we're at 998 followers on Instagram. Off? <laughs> what? No, don't off. No. No. Oh, 998. Can we get two more followers on Instagram in the next 30 seconds? Otherwise, I'm going to get really bored and uh, give up. But 998. That's not making noises anymore either, is it? Mm. What have we done to it? We've broken it or something. Black spray paint. Yes. You could buy the white one and spray it black. Do you know what our Twitter handle is? Is it at Speedy Feet? 
I'll have a look. Okay. So on this live show, we've had seven new followers to our thing that was there a second ago. Um, so I'll tell you who's following. I'll give you a shout out to those that followed us, followed us during this live show. Rob Hitch, thank you for the follow. Mr. Mom, thank you for the follow. Aurea Misu, thank you for the follow. Oscar Circles, thank you for the follow. Ian Chambers, 9216, thanks for the follow. Dave Wood, 190782, this can't be his real name. Thanks for the follow. Uh, e Unicycles, Amsterdam, no, he didn't follow us, he liked to post. Uh, Willow2008, thank you very much for following us. 999. Uh, 999 we're on, we're on 999, we just dragged this show out until it hits 1000. There we go, boom, done, time check in. I know, I know Nick. I know. It's one hour and two minutes and 29 seconds. And we're at 999. Let's screenshot that. Followers on Instagram. Here we go. So I'm just going to screenshot that. Save it out for prosperity. What we at, Mary? What we at? We need one more Instagram. Come on, people. Come on, Instagram. Get to it. We got naught again. Brilliant. I'll keep refreshing my phone. 999. Oh, this is just not happening, is it? I'll post it up on Instagram when we get to a thousand. That's what I'll do. I'm I'm bored now, waiting. Um, so we've had eight people on the show going uh, follow us on Instagram. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Any word on the updated Nikola Plus with a newer Type Two One Seven Hundred battery? Cheers, cheers, shall see it. I haven't at all. I did have a chat with um, Gotway about the Nikola because they got fifteen million models and variations of the Nikola. Uh, makes it almost impossible to stock anything of it at all. So. We kind of shied away from the Nick lift just for that reason. Um, oh, a thousand, thousand, we've got a thousand, ding, 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 ding. Um, they were talking about bringing out a higher voltage, um, 1,000, there we go. Higher voltage, one than 100 volt, and they said that's not happening, they're having a load of, they can't possibly produce it, and so they're probably not going to do that. So uh, that was Bronx Blades, was our thousandth follower on Instagram. There we go. Welcome aboard everyone who joined Instagram. We've gone massively over by four minutes. That's four minutes of my life and your life that you will never get back. But thank you very much for following along. And we'll see you next week at 4.30 GMT for more sneaky peekies probably. And many other videos. And hopefully I'll have lost even more weight. And eventually I'll be like, hey, you go near that. I don't know why I'd shrink actually, but, but there we go. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you very much for everyone joining. Have a really good week. And just message us if you've got any questions. Comment below. Go and follow us on Instagram. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Like and subscribe and hit the bell notification and all those lovely things and thank you very much and check out our patreon page which will probably be linked below at some point because we want to do ex extra product projects we haven't done patreon we've got four patreon people that come on board to support extracurricular unicycle stroke pv projects so thank you very much i'll see you next week